one of the, just at first glance, one of the main issues I see yeah. is... In this video, Ali Abdal, who has over 5 million YouTube subscribers, gives me some advice on how I can grow my own small YouTube channel. Now, this took place in his own program, the Part-Time YouTuber Academy, which I found to be a great program and very useful. Since my conversation with Ali, I have changed a number of things on my channel, one of them being my channel name and the channel banner. So while you're watching this video, it may feel like you're looking at a different channel, but it is in fact the same channel. I didn't feel that my channel was growing at the same rate as my effort level I was putting in. And I didn't feel like I was getting many subscribers. And this was one of my main questions to Ali is, why aren't people subscribing? Am I looking at the right niche? Am I targeting the right people? And these are things that we will cover within this conversation. So let's take a look at the video. Go to Paul, if we've got audio working now. Yeah, can you hear nice. me now? Yeah, loud yes. and clear. Right, good cheers. I'll put my um, channel in the chat. It's, it's called the Fat Loss Accelerator. Okay. I'm looking for a niche perspective. Um, now, I feel like in terms of my sus subscriber growth, I feel like I'm, it's a bit of a grind. Um, like, I feel like, just get your perspective on it, really. And I feel like, do I need, is weight loss overall a bit of a too massive? That makes sense. Okay, yeah, weight loss is too massive a niche. There's like too uh, yeah, much. Yeah, I thought that. Because I'm putting out. 347 views four days ago. That's really good. How did, how did that happen? That's not a good video. Yeah, I get, I get a few of them in the hundreds. But, um, but this, uh, I'm looking at my subscribers. I know a lot of people say that doesn't matter. And I'm thinking something isn't right here. It's a bit yeah. of a grind. And I'm, I'm noticing as well, when I'm posting a video, I'm getting no issues with getting browser suggested. Like YouTube is like suggesting and browsing it. Sure. And I've noticed in suggestions, I'm getting like the most ridiculous 0.8 like percent yep. in terms of nobody is clicking it. But okay. in, brow in browse, I'm getting a pretty healthy percent of like, you know, five, six, four. But then when it goes to suggested, I'm getting absolutely nothing. And I'm like, what do I need to do for suggested to get this up? That makes sense. Okay. So, I mean, so fat loss is like a huge, 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 huge niche. Yeah. I think one of the, just at first glance, one of the main issues I see yeah. is it's just, it just looks very amateur. Like right, very that's, kind that's of fair enough. Yeah. yeah janky. Whereas if you compare it to this guy, this guy looks professional. And so right. I've watched a lot of this and it's probably, it's probably the same kind of stuff. Um, yeah. But just like, you know, Nice thumbnail, fairly simple, shows shows off your six pack abs. It's good vibes. Yeah. Um, although your views are pretty good, so you're kind of doing the right things, I guess. Yeah. Well, what yeah. I'm doing is what I'm doing with the thumbnails is I'm, I'm trying different stuff. Does that make sense? Okay. Like I'm trying to get a higher CTR. So okay. if if I'm trying to like that's that's why it looks a bit all over the place. Nice. Um, yeah, I think so in our, in our session on Monday, we're going to talk much more about thumbnails, but I mean, to be honest, you're doing the right things. Like your, your right. videos are getting the views. It's just something yeah. else is going on that. Yeah. Like wh wh yeah. why are people not subscribing 88 subscribers? It's like, yeah, so it seems a bit odd. My theory is that the people you're attracting based on these thumbnails are not people that understand YouTube and they probably don't understand that they can hit the subscribe button. Maybe. So you might have to yeah. remind them that they can hit the subscribe button. So that's the thing you can do. Yeah. And what I was thinking was, if I'm honest, yeah, a lot of my clients that come to me online, right? They just want to lose weight, right? And I'm in my mind, that's what I'm targeting. That people who don't really exercise, they just do walking, they count the calories and stuff like that. Yeah. And in my mind, if you look at my channel, that isn't really the person who would look at my channel and say, that's what I want. Does that make sense? I'm talking, I think I'm targeting the wrong person. Yeah, this channel looks more like a I'm trying to get shredded kind of channel. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's not really the, my target audience, I don't think. I don't okay. think that. Interesting. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, it a does. Lot, like, a, a lot of my keywords are weight loss and fat loss. And if you think about the person who thinks about that kind of stuff, they don't necessarily want to look like that. So I'm thinking I'm targeting the wrong people. Would you agree? That's a possibility. I mean, it, it, it depends on like... You, the, the aim is to target the people you want to target. Uh, yeah, and, 
I don't think my channel's yeah. targeting those people. Ah, okay. okay. In yes. that case, we probably should change something. Yeah. And 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 the whole idea of like, I'm just going to ex expand on this slightly. Like sub subscribers, yes, subscribers don't really mean anything these days. Well, well, they do to an extent, but like, yeah. people hit the subscribe button. So people click on a video because they like the title and thumbnail. They watch the yeah. video because the video is good, but they hit the subscribe button a if you remind them sometimes, but yeah. b if they want to watch more videos from you. Yeah. And so if people are clicking and people are watching, but they're not hitting subscribe and you've reminded them and they're still not hitting subscribe, like you've got a really low view to subscriber conversion. At that yeah. point, there's something about the way you're doing the content that makes people feel, actually, I don't want to see more videos from this guy. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to know. It's hard to diagnose exactly what that is, but that's, yeah. there's like three so, different stages. Yeah. Click, watch, subscribe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I personally think banging on about weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. Maybe if I'd have been, if my keywords would have been, all oh, keywords don't matter, but like six pack and shredded, maybe I might have been getting a different kind of audience. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like that channel looks to me like, oh, damn, I should watch this because I want to be shredded and get six pack abs. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think possibly I need to start changing my view on who I'm targeting, maybe. Potentially, but it's also about who you want to target. So if you would like to target yeah. weight loss people versus like, I want to get well, six pack abs people. Well, what I might start doing is rather than me being center stage, should I start putting the client center stage? Does that make sense? Weight uh, loss. Oh, you're, you're like on the banner. It's got a picture of me. Like, yeah. thinking, why not put my clients at the center stage? Yeah, sense? I mean, the banner doesn't matter that much. The banner is mostly does about like the, just the first glance. Does your channel look legit? Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, the, your channel is still fairly early. You're getting the right views. You're doing the right things. I think it's just take will take some okay. over a long time. So, so over.